Where's our friend, Tom? He's in the living room. Where's Slash? He didn't make it. I'm gonna need more. Tom is armed. Got the jump on us. Slash didn't make it. Tom! The Tom that lives in this house! Tom, I'm not the athletic type. Tom killed my best hitter? Yeah, him. He was waiting for us. Yeah, right. Let's go have a look, shall we? Afternoon, Tom. Boss? Did you shoot this man? Don't look at them. I'm asking the questions here. Did you shoot this man? No. He did. These stories I'm hearing, they're not syncing up like they should be. So Nathan, exactly how did Tom shoot Slash? He was hiding behind here. Uh -huh. like this. Slash comes in. Yeah. Like, uh, like this. Yeah. Tom peeks out and shoots. Wow. Slash must be slipping. It's a lucky shot. He was scared. He just reacted. Why is there three slugs in him? I wanted to make sure. So, let me see now. The three of you enter his house, and instead of killing all of yous, instead of gunning all three of yous down, he decides to put two more slugs in his lifeless body, leaving you two chuckleheads alive to take him hostage. Boss, I got eight years with you. I'm not gonna start lying. If you wanna take his word over mine, go ahead. There's no reason to get all pissy about it, prom queen. I'm just taking in all the facts, that's all. Motherfucker practically bragged about it. Rubbed it in our faces. And what did he say? Huh? What did he say? What specifically did he say? Word per fucking word. Oh shit. I don't know. He was like... Your friend screamed like a bitch when I shot him. And, uh... You're with Kai on this. A hundred percent. does have a point, you know, about all those years. Yeah, but they were going to take the money. What money? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Well, he's lying. Is this the uh, first time he's mentioned it? Absolutely. <laughs> it's real. He just took it and hid it somewhere and doesn't want you to know. Well, let's take this just uh, one step at a time, shall we? Please don't kill me. Have you done something to deserve me killing you? No way. Then why would you mention it? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. What the fuck does that mean? There's no need to shout, Tom. I'm right here. Boss, what are you here for? Well, seems that uh, Tom has been skimming a taste. Shipments are coming in uh, three grams light every time. Three grams, that's all. You did all this for three grams. I don't employ junkies. There's not a shitload of requirements in this outfit, but that happens to be one of them. So that's it. You're going to kill me over a bit of blow. For someone in your position, Tom, 
You seem strangely insistent on me killing you. The guys you said here, I mean, I don't know, fuck, man. Tom, cocaine can cause severe paranoia, my friend. Sometimes even a temporary state of paranoid psychosis. You lose touch with reality. You start fucking hearing things. The reason I mention this is because you keep saying I'm going to kill you. But you might have noticed I never said I was planning to. I'm not a junkie, boss, I swear. Search the house thoroughly. Now let's see if you are telling the truth. Remember. For every lie you speak, less air you'll breathe. Find anything yet, Guy? Nothing. That was a surprising story that Tom told. About the money. Fucker's just trying to save his own ass. Seems like a strange lie to make up on the spur of the moment, don't you think? Not when your life's depending on it. Enlighten me. Money, man. That's all it's about. What else was he supposed to say? Only thing that could break up a crew like ours is money. And uh, just how would that happen? People get greedy. Do you get greedy, Kai? I'm just a worker boss. I'm too dumb to start playing games, especially with you. You know, you don't seem too broken up about Slash. Fucking Slash. Wasn't much of a talker, you know. Barely knew the guy. You worked with him for months. Still. Good friends are hard to find. Where the hell is Nathan? Downstairs somewhere. Keep looking. You's going shopping or something? Just being through a bus. Hold on a second. You and Kai seem kind of out of sorts today. Maybe it's because your friend Slash is dead. And maybe again, maybe fucking not. You know, when I killed my brother, I told him, doubt? can cripple a family. This business, our crew, is our family. The moment doubt comes into play is the moment the game is over. I don't trust anyone, but at some point I have to rely on someone. And I'm beginning to regret ever having to rely on you, Nathan. Are you and Kai being honest with me? Yeah, boss. And find my fucking drugs. Well? House is clean. Where's Kai? He's uh, taking a shit. Right now? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta get some better guys. He's doing go. You was taking a stroll? I had to get something from the car. What? Um, gum. <laughs> get in the fucking room! Now, about this money. Look, the point is, it was here in the house earlier when I left. And it couldn't have just disappeared. You know, a good lie is specific. But, uh, Tom, I think you already know that. Look, I'm not. 
lying. The reason a good lie is specific is the truth tends to be specific. That's the trouble. That's what makes a good lie. That's why we're going to search the car together. Are you serious? Tell me it's not there. You skimmed some money off a deal you did. How much? One million. Two million. Come again? He told us he skimmed two million. First he said one. He said two after Nathan Thought left. Could turn us against Shut him. the fuck up! Ay, yi yi. You two are giving me a headache. He told me one and Kai two. Why am I just hearing about this now? I did it to take away his bargaining chip. You came here and the first thing he says is about the money. If I say I've got it in the car, how does that look? Doesn't look too good. Exactly. So Tom, tell me, how much money are we talking about here? About two million bucks. We're gonna get all that money together. We're gonna count it. And then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Two million on the dot. Yeah. I'm still waiting to hear about how you got such an enormous amount of money. Cash, too. It's not like it was sitting in the bank. Look, I, I have a wife, a, a kid. Don't worry about him. But, uh, Frankie Bones! Excuse me? Tell the truth about Frankie Bones! <laughs> Frankie Bones. I ain't heard that fucking name for years. You told him Frankie was a made man, and that's bullshit, and I know it. Well? Frankie Bones was a made man. You know that. I had to do a lot of greasing to get you off that. I bet you didn't have to lift a fucking finger. Shut the fuck up. How would you know? <laughs> well, you, you said yourself that the cops were probably going to look at it as a self-defense, right? Horace was a regular. Probably heard this story. Thought he'd make something up. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You don't buy it and tell him to fuck off? Oh, big loss. But what if you buy it? Come on. Frankie Bones was a member of... What if you find out the truth? What if somebody told you the truth? You know, that this man's not a Oh, so he tells you that he was protected. That you need to get protected. And then so he starts to use you. you. Shut oh, up! and he uses you. Makes you work for him. Deal for him. Kill you for him! You son of a bitch! Oh, damn liar! Holy shit!